Hi Church, happy Friday and welcome to today's digital devotion. I wanted to share with you today a poem that I came across. It's by the author Madeline Langle. You might know her from writing some sci-fi and some different books. She's also a great poet. This is an excerpt from her poem uh, that she wrote in 1969. She wrote A Wrinkle in Time, right? Yeah. Great book. Great book. Uh, she, this poem was called Lines Scribbled on an Envelope While Writing the 104 Broadway Bus. There is too much pain I cannot understand. I cannot pray. Here I am, and the ugly man with the beery breath beside me reminds me that it is not my prayers that waken your concern, my Lord. My prayers, my intercessions, are not to ask for your love, for all your lost and lonely ones, your sick and sinning souls, but mine, my love, my acceptance of your love. Your love for the woman sticking her umbrella and her expensive parcels into my ribs and snarling, why don't you watch where you're going? Your love for the long-haired gum-chewing boy who shoves the old lady aside to grab a seat. Your love for me too, too tired to look with love, too tired to look at love, at you and every person on the bus. Expand my love, Lord, so I can help to bear the pain. Help your love move my love into the tired prostitute with false eyelashes and bunioned feet, the corrupt policeman with his hand open for graft, the addict, the derelict, the woman in the mink coat and discontented mouth, the high school girls with heavy books and frightened eyes. Help me through these scandalous particulars to understand your love. Wow. Help me to pray. Wow. I love that poem because I think it reminds us so often a couple of things. One, that so much of our prayer life and the act of praying is about changing our own hearts and finding God's voice and presence in the midst of the mundane and the things that frustrate us and the things that confuse us in life, but that it's often less about asking God to do something for us and prayer is more about asking God to change our hearts so that we can experience our surroundings in a different, more loving way. I also think it reminds us of how difficult it is sometimes to summon and um, cultivate a loving heart in the midst of um, a crowded bus in Madeline's case, or just you know a difficult day, um, a meltdown with your child, um, a difficult time at work, like all of these situations in our life that present to us a lot of challenges and frustrations. It's hard in those moments to understand how God is present and how God is working and how Christ is calling us to be his disciples in those moments. Um, and yet that is our work. That is our calling. Yeah, it's really cool to think about something like public transportation or just being around a, a group of people of diverse origins gives you a glimpse into the kingdom of God. And it's not this pure, clean, easy space but instead it's rough it's dirty it's weird it's strange there's people you don't normally get along with and but it's all mixed up and somehow this is the kingdom of god yeah. where all of these people can exist in the same place at the same time mm -hmm. and i love that this is a reframing of prayer mm -hmm. at the end that last line is really haunting mm -hmm. um and so we'll put the we'll put the prayer in the email as well and you can reread it but um just this idea that prayer is an opportunity for us to have our hearts and minds expanded, mm -hmm. um, to be given new perspectives, to yeah. change the way we think about ourselves even. Yeah. And so this is a great reframing. And I identify that too in those moments where, you know, the elbow goes in your ribs and then someone blames you, they're like, watch where you're going. Like, oh my God, you just ran into me. <laughs> like those moments that, you know, Ugh, the swear so words come to my mind yeah. immediately. Oh yeah. Um, and I'm like, gosh, how can God love this? That person. You know, fill in the blank. <laughs> um, but somehow, somehow that's our faith, right? That's Is, what we're called to do. And, and that's yeah. the prayer that God, can you show me, can you show me who you are in this person? Because I don't see it right now. Um, that's, yeah. that's a good reframing. So, so read the poem. Tell us yeah. what you think. If you have other insights, we'd love to hear them. And as always, we will see you in worship on Sunday. See you then.